is the mobile home diva and in today's video we are going to be touring this cabco home this cabco is unit 971 and we are going to check this home out now let me go ahead and warn you this home is completely not put together the tile is not even on the floor yet however it has some great features that I wanted to show you. So look past the fact that it's not put together yet and let's go see what this house could be. All right, so this is the Cabco Unit 971. It is absolutely beautiful. Coming in into the living room, you can see the kitchen and dining room. From here, I'm gonna leave the door open for lighting and I'll turn around so you can get a good look at the living room. Got a ceiling fan in here. You've got, um, looks to be a gas fireplace with a mantle, uh, two windows here in the living room. Nice, nice open feel, nice size living room. All of that over there is the tile that's gonna go on the floor. Please forgive the echo. Just to give you an idea of what the tile will look like, that is the tile that goes in here on the floor. So very good. In your um, dining room, you've got two French doors that go to the outside, lots of can lighting in the dining room and kitchen there. So this is your dining room, really nice. Then you've got a huge island. Love the different shape of the island. You've got storage space on either side, brickwork in the middle, nice counter space. And I love this countertop because it's in two sections. So your guests can be eating or leaning on the counter there. And then you have a space for you to be washing dishes or doing prep. Or what have you you also have cabinet space in there always nice when you have these two layers to your island so that especially when there's a sink so that it doesn't take away for the space for your guests or for your kids this house has stainless steel and black appliances huge hood over the uh, ceramic top stove lots of cabinet space and drawers I love, love, love when there's a drawer above every cabinet. It just gives even more storage space. Always nice. So I'll come over here and scan again. This is Cabco Unit 971, you guys. Beautiful home. I wish it had the tile, but you can already see just how nice this home is. All right, so let's go down the hallway here and see what we got. This first door is the guest bath. Nice counter space. You got three drawers and a cabinet in here. Tub shower combo with a transom window above. You've got a cabinet over the toilet. And this room also leads to the utility room. So the utility room, I don't know if this is going to be a... Oh, you got a closet here for coats or whatever you like. Lots of cabinet space. Your washer and dryer will go there. Cabinet space above... Oh, window in here that opens more cabinet and counter space and a huge sink over here love it love it love it look how big the sink is awesome 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 and this room has its own door you don't just get there from the bathroom it also all right, you also got your back door there. And this is the door that leads into the utility room. 
So the utility room goes around there and also leads to the bathroom. So let's go back out the bathroom because there's something else in the hall that I wanna show you. All right, now this again is the living room to the right. First door on the left is the bathroom, guest bathroom. Straight ahead is the utility room and they connect. And then this barn door here is your pantry door. So you've got a pantry here, lots and lots of shelving. This pantry actually makes me happy because the shelving goes from one side of it to the next. You've got four shelves, four levels of shelving, which is perfect. You can store appliances, you can store food stuff. Love it, love it, love it. I love the barn door. Everybody doesn't like the barn door feature. Doesn't have to be a barn door. Doesn't even have to be a door up there. It could be a door here. So it's up to you. Order the house how you like. Now we've got guest bedroom number one. Love the huge windows in this, these cab co homes. So this is the guest bedroom. There's your closet there. That's guest bedroom number one. And then next to it is guest bedroom number two. And there's your closet for guest bedroom number two. So pretty. Can't, oh, I have to come back and see this home put together. If they're decor picks online, I'll be sure to put them in. Just wanted you guys to have an idea of the potential in this home. Now we haven't seen the master bath, so let's and bedroom. So let's go have a look, see. Master bedroom is here. So this is all the space in your master bedroom. You've got a closet separate from the master bath. So let's take a look at the closet here. Long, deep closet. It has a transom window. Shelving that goes all the way down and around on one side. I would probably put it on both sides. I don't know. It would be narrow, but it would give me lots and lots of space. And my husband and I could potentially share the space with so much shelving. So really nice. Nice master closet. Let's look at the master bath. Ooh, love the huge, huge sink. So much space there on the sink. You've got three large mirrors. You've got a makeup table in the middle. I put a cute little bench there or stool to do my hair and stuff. You've got storage on either side of the sinks for storage for him and for her. You could put something there, maybe a leaning ladder um, for towels or shelving or hamper or whatever you like. Got a deep tub with a window that opens. Your toilet is there and then you've got this huge, huge shower with a bench. I would put the rain shower, shower head in, in lieu of the regular shower. But hey, really pretty. Love the tile in there. So, so, so pretty. I'll go over here and let you get another look. I know you want to know how much it costs, so let's go check it out, you guys. Again, this is the Cab Co 971. Model is MDFS number 26. 
This home is a 32 by 64 priced at $113.9. That base price includes delivery, setup materials, setup, blocking, tie down, central heat and air, concrete block underpinning, and the concrete footers. You also have some additional options if you need it. So there's all the information. If you're interested in seeing this home, make sure you look down in the description box. The price will also be there along with all the information to five-star manufactured homes. Okay? Thanks so much for Do it.